All right, so here's the steps on how to replace the RAM on, uh, this is a 2011. I don't think it works on all of them. They're, they all changed, but at least for this one. So you'll need just a regular number two Phillips screwdriver, and then obviously your replacement RAM chips. And then what you want to do is, um, I put some padding down, but you can, uh, you can just put like some bubble wrap or something, but you wanna you wanna hold the, the computer because it doesn't it doesn't balance on it. So um, I'm just gonna hold it with my leg here. But you go from this side over this way, and you just pull the screw out until it kind of stops. You'll feel it, like you'll hear it. Hear that? That's a thread hitting the top. So that one's done as well. out this bracket or this cover and then you're done with the screwdriver and then I always wear gloves just because uh, oils from our hands will get on the modules and then you'll like just like just like uh, cooking cooking oils uh, if things get hot they start to boil but you're gonna want to pull these tabs out so they're just they're just stuck in the side of it so just run your finger along the side of it and pull those out and then this is a part where you got to give it a real solid, uh, consistent tug. And then the chips will pop out. And then same thing here. Just do this and then pull. And then the chips will pop out. Okay. And then um, I'm only replacing these modules. And then the uh, divot or this crease right here goes this direction. You'll, you'll see it inside the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the computer's facing the other way. You'll see it inside, there's a little divot. And so, actually it goes like this. It goes like this. And you just slide it in and then just make sure that they're both uh, flat, they're not crooked. And then you push in the whichever first module you want to, but don't do them at the same time. So just push, and then you'll feel it slide in. And then push, and then you'll feel it slide in. So now both of those are in. And this is, like I said, why you want to wear gloves, because if you had oils on your hand, you're going to be really pushing on the modules. And then you just slide that back. There you go. And then same thing. Well, here, let me get the other module ready again. Take out your module. There we go. And then, so I took it out this way with the knot this way. And then this one's going to go in with the knot this way. There you go. And then again, you could do like the first time I did um, this one first. You could do this one first also. It doesn't matter which way you put them in. Just when I push in this one, it kind of gets this one in the way, so that's why I chose to do this one first. But if you have hands that can fit the first module, you can do that one as well. So there you go, they're both in. Push this back. Now you get your plate and your screwdriver, and then you just put it in. It doesn't matter if it goes this way or if it goes this way, they're right in the center. But just make sure that you screw them in. Um, Go reverse until you feel the thread jump. So there's the jump. So now it's in place and now it'll easily just go in. So you shouldn't have to force the screw in, but if you just start from right here and you start going, you might cross thread. So I would just go back there. I heard it, so now it's set and now I sh it should just go in real easy. And then you don't have to tighten these down. It's just a holding place mat. Everything's already in. So you don't have to crank these down. There's no torque or anything like that. There you go. It, as soon as I feel a little resistance, I, I'm done. I stop. Like, it's not going to fall out or anything like that. And there you go. That's all you got to do.